The man of God, Reverend Pastor Danny, was born Daniel Musumbu Kofi on the 11th of December 1956 in Diora, Congo, formerly known as Zaire. They received prophetic message for the global church and Africa, precisely DR Congo. Their message was simple, bring people to repentance to prepare them for the kingdom of God and for Congolese people to repent and stop their evil ways for there will be terrible bloodshed in the years to come. Apostle Daniel along with his four friends have traveled all over Congo preaching the message and warning the nation of Congo. Their message were not easily accepted at first, especially from political figures, and they endured terrible persecution. <laughs> Despite their troubles, they continued boldly spreading the message and establishing the Messengers Church. To date, in Congo alone, there are over 500 Messengers Church, other branches in Angola, Congo Brazzaville. South Africa, Benin, there is also Messengers Church in Europe, Belgium, France, Portugal, Germany, Italy, Spain, Sweden, Holland and the United Kingdom. In America there is two, in North Carolina and Boston, Canada and Brazil. The four friends are now in different locations globally. Apostle Peter is in Congo, Apostle Adolf, Italy, Apostle Albert, Canada, and Apostle Danny in England. Apostle Danny has been living in Europe since the early 90s, and in England he attended Selly Oaks College in Birmingham to study theology, and he continued the studies further in Kensington Temple, London, North Acton. He has been very active in organizing conference meetings to address the Congolese people and the world the message that God has given them and also to speak out against the atrocities that is happening in Congo to date. He has met with and continued to meet with political figures, high-ranking members of the community. He's regularly on television, radio and other digital mediums spreading the message. In 2000, with the backing of the late President Laurent Kabila, he addressed the people of Congo to a full stadium, a stadium known as the Mataya Stadium, and the Palace of the People, which was a public office building. In 2001, the Apostle Danny founded Action Nehemiah, a charitable organization committed to bringing awareness to the general public about the war in Congo, amongst many other humanitarian actions that they undertake. On the same year, he held talks with former dignitaries of Congo in Belgium to remind them of God's message for Congo and prepare the people for their eventual return. In recognition of his efforts and role as a humanitarian pastor, he has received the Church's Child Protection Advisory Service Award for diligently speaking out against the violence on young children.
He also received in 2011 a Peace Award from the Universal Peace Federation for his work for Congo. He held two terms as a president of the Congolese pastors in the UK and he continues to work with other prominent organizations and community members for the good of Congo. This he does passionately working with the Congolese people all over the diaspora. He has organized a proof peaceful march in the UK and abroad in conjunction with the UK police and other government and other institutions just to bring awareness about what is happening in the Congo. Finally, the Apostle Danny is a visionary, a leader and unifier who is always close to the community and participate in citizen movements organized by the diaspora here in Britain and in other European countries. He is also the author of a book called The Prophetic Destiny of the DR Congo where he accounts the day of their visitation from God and a message given by God to his people, Congo.